Hello everyone. Today we're going to be working one with uh, one of my uh, ever favorite machines, and this is uh, the unique uh, ZX81 or the uh, Timex Sinclair 1000, as it has been introduced to the United States in uh, back in 1981. We got a cable here that comes out of the machine uh, and gives us a composite signal how we should uh, use this over uh, contemporary uh, televisions or monitors because uh, what was uh, there was just the uh, TV modulator back in the day which is uh, not good enough for modern TVs and there are several other things I want to tell you about this machine the Timex Sinclair 1000 um, which is very um, interesting and uh, a milestone to home computing um, if you will so we're gonna be working over uh, power cooling and other stuff um, but uh, yeah let's get on with this now before we move any further with uh, composite signal um, I want to clean up the uh, space where the um, 7805 used to be and I'm saying this used to be because I have removed the 7805 voltage uh, regulator and um, replaced it with um, DC to DC converter um, you can see there um, just want to clean up the space that um, um, uh, yeah it used to be and it is uh, the ground um, I'm gonna put some cellophane tape over this to keep it um, insulated um, yeah you can clearly see how the DC to DC converter looks like I believe the height and this is compared to the old uh, this one um, 7805 regulator that it used to be there I think um, uh, it's um, taller uh, when it is placed like this so I have to keep it straightened or bent over um, in order to fit in the case uh, so I'm insulating the um, ground part with a bit of uh, cellophane tape and I'll try to find the best uh, way to keep it um, straight or bent uh, in order to fit in the case now if you decide to um, replace your 7805 um, voltage regulator with this one you will probably find out that this is the same height if you push it forward like this uh, around the same height with a TV tuner so this is the best way to put it and uh, get this position otherwise uh, they wouldn't be able to um, put it back together in the case now I had bought um, several of these uh, this is a batch of eight um, altogether um, uh, in order to have some spare to replace 7805 and this is because 7805 or other regulators are getting hot and are unreliable and here is a um, comparison to the um, old um, uh, 7805, 7806 or whatever regulators are out in the markets. Um, those things um, must be facing up the, the same way like the ICs are pictured uh, now and it should be positioned like this one of the good things uh, apart from reliability is that uh, we can uh, get rid of the heatsink um, once uh, the 7805 is removed and um, I'll show you um, an idea of how to use it in the future So I have placed some thermal compound over the ULA at this point 
and uh, the CPU at the same time uh, with a couple of um, strong adhesive double-sided tape on both chips and I'm going to be placing the heatsink over those it's useful uh, and it works okay now for the composite video uh, you can follow this simple diagram all you have to get is a weak uh, signal coming from ULA IC pin 16 uh, to drive um, at NPN transistor in order to amplify the signal get 5 volts from somewhere around the circuit and the ground now in order to see where the pin 16 is you can follow this simple close-up picture uh, you can get the soldering point from underneath the IC or from D9 itself now one thing I don't like is to remove components from all the home micros therefore I kept the TV modulator as is in place the picture over uh, television is not great I think it's terrible by the way uh, but the signal at the same time over the uh, composite is uh, working fine and think I think it's crystal clear D um, the horizontal lines do not actually exist uh, to the human eye um, so yeah um, I have just placed the transistor on the side of the TV modulator and did the uh, wiring and I used a cable to move it out uh, to, to get the picture uh, outside of the case uh, but the TV uh, modulator stayed intact and I can see that the heatsink works great uh, getting all the heat um, from the ICs at the same time okay now we have completed uh, three mods over this little machine um, which I like very much you can see the cable coming from uh, coming out from uh, the um, TV tuner compartment just because I didn't want to remove the whole thing um, I'm running a um, memory test um, program here just to check that everything is fine um, if I remember this right uh, the Timex Sinclair uh, has um, 2 kilobytes of RAM uh, whereas the um, ZX81, the British um, model, uh, used to have just one. So um, I think we are done, um, but I have uh, something else to show you which is pretty rare and pretty interesting. And this will be the file 60 keyboard rubber keyboard for the ZDX81 uh, which is a pretty rare accessory but very very useful um, it works of course with a uh, Timex Sinclair as well uh, it's pretty much uh, the same thing um, underneath uh, so this is a rubber keyboard that um, it used to have uh, some adhesive uh, at the back uh, in order to be uh, placed over the existing keyboard and make your life and your typing and your programming uh, life easier uh, of course after uh, 30 years uh, there is no adhesive material um, at the back of the, this rubber keyboard but this is very useful um, the standard keyboard of the ZX81 we all know that it's not good enough for proper typing and uh, needless to say uh, for uh, programming uh, but the file 60 was the solution to all that and it's a great accessory so yeah uh, this is the original part of the ad uh, that was uh, inside of every magazine back in 1993 um, I'm pretty sure it's pretty rare uh, if you guys ever have the chance to get it from eBay or anywhere just get it um, I highly recommend this 
After all these years, I do believe this is a fantastic accessory for the ZX81. I loved it, and um, I still remember using it back in 1983. As you can see, um, it's uh, proper rubber um, to have proper uh, touch and feel. And used to have um, glue, uh, some sort of at the back, but now it's gone, of course, after all these years. And it used to have also a cover for dust, which is amazing. Um, uh, some amazing thinking behind this design. So you could you could uh, practically place the uh, the cover uh, to protect the uh, file 60 from dust. Uh, with that said, uh, I think um, I'm going to be closing this episode. Um, I'm really glad I found my old uh, file 60, um, and I'm really uh, happy we have made all uh, of these mods uh, today here uh, with you. I'm just running um, basic little silly program again to check that everything is working, and. Um, yeah um thank you very much for watching consider subscribing we'll be back with uh new videos um uh, i'll i do my best to uh keep up dating uh the channel uh with new models um you can uh send me whatever you wish to present or to uh repair on camera or you can donate um a machine and of course um, um, it is my duty uh, to repair it, to present it and um, make some um, dedicated uh, video uh, uh, if you wish so that's all for now uh, stay tuned uh, I'll be back with uh, new videos shortly um, yeah bye for now